really happy with how our kids played. And, uh, we had you know a really close game in our first game. We had a game where we we run ruled, and then then to finish the season or series out with uh, with a really good win, a comeback win. Uh, just really happy. You kind of got to see all aspects of the game a little bit, and as far as some pressure and some situations where there wasn't as much pressure and different things like that. So yeah, very happy. But you guys were locked in at number two, correct? In the conference, yes. Okay, so I mean, looking at that, I mean, and just the year you guys have, have had overall, how important is this last series against Cameron? I know it, it doesn't really change the fact uh, that you'll move up or down, but uh, knowing that it's the last series, how important is it to go in still strong so that you go into that conference tournament strong? Yeah, you know, I mean, you get the momentum factor that you want to definitely continue to keep going, uh, but also regionally, the regional rankings and stuff. These games are important for our region rankings and everything. So uh, I think our kids know that that's definitely an important thing. So uh, I think more than anything else, though, we just want to keep playing good softball. You feel like you guys are kind of hitting your hot spot at the right time of the year. Yeah, you know, I mean, we've made it our goal to just trying to keep, trying to keep get better every single game, and I feel like we're doing that right now. So if we can keep doing that, good things will happen. And I think I saw where Ruby hit her 64th career home run. I mean, just how exciting is it as you as a coach to see her doing so great this season? Yeah, I mean, just so happy for her. She's a kid who's done the right stuff, worked hard. Uh, you know, that was a pressure situation when she hit her home run. It was, uh, we were down by two runs in the last inning with two outs, and, and she hits a home run to tie the game to send it into extra innings, and we end up coming back and winning it. So, uh, yeah, not, not surprised by that because that's just the type of person she is. But uh, it's good to see when somebody does the right stuff that the game gives back to them. Given the experience you guys have had, I mean, and success-wise as well, I mean, that speaking on that game, going to 11 innings, do you feel like all of that experience kind of went into, hey, let's be calm, it's okay, we got this? I mean, eight, nine, ten, eleven, uh, going <laughs> that far has got to be exhausting. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's a second extra inning game that we had, and we've come out on top on both of them. Our kids have just showed a lot of composure in those situations. You know, I think there was one time where they had. Runners on second and third base with with uh, maybe one out or something like that, and uh, we ended up holding holding them and getting out. I thought Emily Wilson did a really good job of coming in and and getting out of some tough jams. Uh, but uh, overall, yeah, I think some of those pressure situations or extra inning games. I think as you go into playoffs, I think it definitely is a benefit for you. When you start getting into those long games like that, you start worrying about the pitching arm. You got left back in the pit and save people. Yeah, not really with us, just we have so much depth in our pitching staff. I mean, normally, yeah, that would definitely be something that'd pop into your head. But to me, honestly, I feel like the longer we go, the better, just because we do have so much depth in our pitching staff and that, uh, you know, I'd put our pitching staff up against anybody's as far as depth goes. Considering that you guys are locked in at that number two position, given the season that you've had, I mean, what, what does it say to you about your conference? Yeah, our conference is tough. You know, I mean, just it's crazy the record that we have right now in our conference. I mean, that's just that's hard to do. You know, every single team is so good uh, for our kids to come out and play that well consistently. You know, I mean, just purely by chance in the game of softball, you're going to have a bad call or a bad bounce or something like that uh, to be able to come out on top in as many games as they have. It's just really impressive, especially some of the close games that we've had. It's like on back to this weekend, Cameron's not a slouch by anything. No, they're good, yeah. That's obviously a tough test to end the season. Yeah, you know, I mean, I think it's a really good matchup for us uh, going into the conference tournament just because they are good, you know, and that's what you want to do. You want to play good teams at the end of the season so you're prepared when you get to the conference tournament. I mean, I think they're athletic. I think they've got good pitching. I think they've got good coaching. I think they can hit the ball. I think they're just an all-around, you know, just a good softball team. You know, they, they definitely can play the game, and uh, we're going to have to come out and play our best.